Hello, Sam. You look very excited today. Hi, Miss R. I definitely am. Because we are going to read and write large numbers today. And you do remember how to read and write five-digit numbers, correct? Of course. I remember that before the hundreds place, we have the thousands and ten thousands places. And that the ones, tens and hundreds are grouped to form the ones period and thousands and ten thousands digits are grouped to form the thousands period. We also put a comma between the two periods while writing and while reading the number, we start from the left. First, we read the number in the period and then the period name, except once where we don't say the period's name. So this number is 53,812. Excellent. Now, for numbers with six digits and higher, there are two systems for reading and writing base 10 numbers. They are the international system and the Indian system. There are some commonalities and some differences between the two. Let's first talk about the commonalities. In both systems, the digits are grouped to form periods. In both systems, we put commas between periods to separate them. In both cases, the ones period is formed by ones, tens and hundreds digits. Now let's see the differences. In the international system, each period is of three digits. In the Indian system, the ones period is of three digits and all others are of two digits. In the international system, the period names are ones, thousands, millions, billions, etc. In the Indian system, the period names are ones, thousands, lakhs, crores, etc. In this class, we will learn the international system of reading and writing numbers and will focus on the Indian system in the next class. Let's take a nine digit number. We will later discuss numbers with more than nine digits. We already know that the rightmost digit is in the ones place. Then we have tens, hundreds, thousands and ten thousands. In the international system, we next have 100,000, generally abbreviated as HTH, then million, generally abbreviated as M, then 10 million, abbreviated as TM, and 100 million, abbreviated as HM. We have ones, tens, and hundreds forming the first period, the ones period. Now remember, in international system, every period is of three digits. So, we have the thousands period formed by thousand, ten thousands and hundred thousands and the millions period formed by million, ten million and hundred million digits. For writing, we will put a comma between the periods and let's start reading. We will start reading from the leftmost period. The format will be number in the period followed by period name. Except for once period where we do not read the period name. Correct. So this number is 538,249,716. Aha! That does not seem difficult. So let's practice. 20504933. A nine digit number. So here are the places. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten millions, and hundred million. We group the digits into periods of three places each. Ones period, thousands period, millions period. We put a comma to separate the periods. Now I will read the number. 205 million. 49,000, uh, since 049 is read as 49, 334. Is that correct? Yes, Sam, very good. Let's do another one. 29000180. Hmm, it has eight digits. So here are the places, ones through ten millions. Then dividing into period, ones, thousands and millions. Putting comma between the periods, this number is 29,000,000. 
Now there are only zeros in the thousands period, so I guess we can omit reading this period. Correct. 180. So 29 million 180. Brilliant. Here's one more. 694573, a six digit number. So here are the places. And there would be only two periods, ones and thousands, comma between periods. And the number is 694,573. Well done. Masar, I understand this well. Now what about numbers with more than nine digits? I guess we will continue to group into periods. But what would be the period names after millions? Remember, one million is one followed by six zeros and one hundred million is one followed by eight zeros. Now after millions, the next period would be billions. One billion is one followed by nine zeros and 100 billion is one followed by 11 zeros. And after that, we will have trillions period. One trillion is one followed by 12 zeros and 100 trillion is one followed by 14 zeros. After that, we will have quadrillions period. One quadrillion is one followed by 15 zeros and 100 quadrillion is one followed by 17 zeros. Now we can keep going on as numbers do not end, but let's stop here. I do have a fun fact for you. Do you know what we call the number one followed by 100 zeros? It is a Google. Interesting. It seems like the browser Google was named after this number, but they got the spelling wrong. <laughs> Masar, what about zillion and gazillion? I have heard these used as well. My friend recently went to the Taylor Swift concert and he said that there were a gazillion people there. Zillion and gazillion are not real numbers. They are made up words used in the English language to express there were so many you couldn't even count. That is so interesting. Miss R, I have learnt a lot today and I'm looking forward to learning the Indian system for reading numbers. We will do that soon. Please like, share and subscribe.